this book I found, and it was a book about New York Sun newspaper from April of 1902. And I had to cut this book out with this beautiful little knife that a friend of mine made. And so I used this knife and cut out page by page of a whole newspaper filled with uh, stories, kind of fun stories too, like shoes for 25 cents and houses for $5,000. And I cut it out so I could place this boat inside of this book from 1902. On the other side, I carved a fish and put old African beads, which are Africa, where we all came from in the beginning, and um, wrote a story on the front of the book. Now, pages of our lives, uh, the boat represents um, voyage, of course, and new life, new territory leaving the old behind with great memories, but pressing on. And the boat will go into a glass case with all hand-blown glass. This is my ghost ship, my ghost vessel, and it's bronze with a beautiful patina. You can see where it's broken, fractured. See? Where it's fractured, I, I read a story, in fact a friend sent it to me because of some fractures I've had in my life. He said the Japanese have a beautiful way of mending fractures. They don't want to mend the fractures so that it looks like it hasn't been fractured. They would like to take the fracture and enhance it and put it back together with gold, showing that because of the fractures in our lives, we become more beautiful. So, I've decided to fracture the boats, allow them to be fractured. I fractured them in the wax, and I studied Kitsuki, that's the name of the practice, where you mend something with gold. Here are the beautiful brushes. Here's the gold. Where you fill the gold and enhance the fractures. Eastern Indians, American Indians, they would take their loved ones and they would put them in a ship or in a vessel and they would set it out at sea so they could um, move to the afterlife. And they would go burn the boat 
and it would go down into the water and then resurrect into the next life. And that's how they believe. We give them the proper burial. And this is in honor of our loved ones. This beautiful glass, Frit, has been fired and it fires the same temperature, of course, as the stainless steel chain mail. But what's beautiful is the combination of the glitter, the shine, the ashes, uh, snow, whatever, ice, and um, the stability of stainless steel and how it goes off into the distance and uh, it never really goes away. Setting forth is about those who set forth in life, as in literature. They find storms, monsters, love, treasure, magic, and home. You don't know how a journey will go, only that you must make it. The hero, the poet Reiki writes, is always beyond himself into the next adventure. Some say it takes courage to go beyond, to leave behind the known for the unknown, the mystery without which there is no adventure. Some say it takes a laughing heart to go beyond. Some say the steel of necessity. Some say a wild abandon. And some say trust. What there can be no doubt about is that to go beyond in life, death, love, art, in anything, you must set forth. Thank mm -hmm. you.